All right, just a quick video. I got some rally armor, just generic mud flaps. You can make this out of like any of this plastic material, cutting board material. I'll put a link for the cutting board stuff. I'll put a link for these. Okay, and we're gonna make them for our BMW M2. Now, here's how I'm doing it. Put some masking tape up, all right? Follow the outline of the car. It kind of went where the ridges are of the high points. Mark the screw, well, the rivet, plastic rivet holes that we're gonna use. And then we're gonna transfer that to a piece of cardboard that we traced that with the pen and cut that out. So this is gonna be our test piece. So we'll take this off and apply it to here and see how far we want it to stick out. Yeah, it's pretty chipped. Yeah. All right, what I've done here, I put my template on, kind of mark the back of it of where, oop, there we go, like that, where it's gonna sit. And we're gonna transfer the masking tape over to this now. So I've taken that tape, stuck it on another piece of cardboard and I'll cut that out to size. And then we can just use that, flip it around any way we need to, to match it up to this. We've got templates to use left and right. Okay, that's the template of the car. That's the template of the mud flap. I'm gonna go for about a centimeter over. And I kind of mark, I mark the top where it's gonna hit the edge, so. Up. about there okay and um, yeah now that narrow bit there I don't know if we're going to use that because that is this narrow bit here if we need to have more coverage in maybe a little bit more but it's a lot of mud flap but there's definitely a lot to cut away because there's all this middle bit like where my thumb is that kind of does nothing and there's nothing to attach it to so we'll be using a self tapper into this area here there's nothing behind there um, we'll put it in there. We could put another self tapper in here, but I think one's there is cool because we'll be reusing some push pins. And I'll put the link to those because I got a big box on Amazon for it. Literally cost probably cost more in shipping than it did to get these. Um, I couldn't believe how cheap it was. I can't send stuff that cheap. So anyway, let's cut this out. Now excuse the noise, but uh, yeah, we got a busy road. Just doing this quickly on my lunch break. Okay, so we just got to push these out. So I'm using a small screwdriver, but that one just pushed out with a touch. Sometimes you got to tap it out. Um, they are just one use plastic rivets. They go into the fender abyss somewhere. Anyway, we'll never find them. Um, and then pop these out. Now I've got some, should be able to, yeah, just get my fingernails. There we go. One, and come on. Let me give that a wiggle. Yep, pull the plastic, pull that out go so we might be able to Ooh, that's gone might be able to reuse them with a uh, maybe one of the pieces from our kit but no big deal if we can't because we've got some longer ones in there okay here's what we did we uh, we cut it a bit narrower than it was because it was kind of wrapping in and around a bit too much so we'll just kind of hold that in position and I might reuse these plastic ones just to see what it's gonna look like. We'll put it together with these. Okay, put that through the hole and mount it up. Okay, that's with it in there. Let's have a look back here. Uh -huh. So I need to move the hole for the bottom one over a bit so it can stick out a bit more, although my template cutting is uh, a bit wonky, I think, but um, yeah, that's uh, one a little bit further out on the bottom. Here we go, a quick rejig. And that's where I want it. Okay, that should be pretty good coverage. I guess, uh, yeah, we'll put another self-tapper in there somewhere. And that'll hold it. That'll hold it back in there because that other material is pretty flexible. Um, cool. Actually, we probably could have kept a little bit of... I think we make it transfer it over we'll leave a couple centimeters and you see that we could be a bit further over I'll leave a couple centimeters on that back side so we're not making it quite so narrow uh, all right let's cut it well, cutting this stuff's pretty easy you can use a box cutter or a decent pair of scissors so I've extended a little bit but yeah basically if you look at the original there's not much to cut off we need to cut 
just a little bit of width off the back. You probably just, you could leave that and just cut that straight line to be honest. But there's a, I think there's a little bit of a bump there. So we'll just cut that away. All right. Okay, here we go. Template, flap. Said so I just kind of left a lot more material there because why bother cutting it off? Not like you need weight reduction in this thing. Um, and we added a little bit of width to the outside. So the pretty sides that you're gonna see are all nice. I'm gonna having this facing the inside. So that'll, I guess, eventually blast off with some gravel because um, it's not a WRX and they don't want the rally thing. Now we'll try to get some push pins in there and mount it up. Okay, after fiddling around, I got two screws in. One there, one there, keeps the flap down that sits into the plastic. I've pushed in a, uh, two of the like, Christmas tree style ones into here. This should hold just fine. And then we have a secure mud flap. Now it's not a, we, straight enough there that I'd like, but uh, with some heat, that's probably gonna straighten out. And I think I might have, I think I just need to uh, extend that hole a little bit up. I think it's just a bit of tension on that one. So I'll do that for the other side. I'll put a bit more room in it and I'll actually pull that one out and, and uh, enlarge that hole a little bit taller so it's not under tension anymore. But that's it. We are, should be protected nicely from rocks and stone chips. Now I'm gonna ask you for a favor. It's not a big one, but to justify me doing these car videos to the missus, can you please just like the video? I mean, you don't need to subscribe, that's fine. But if you found it useful, remotely entertaining, just somewhat interesting just hit the like button and i can justify my existence and my time and money spent on toys to the missus that's it now back to the show okay there we go we put a few test holes in to get that on that one transferred it over to the good one on the other side but we'll mount them up now because they uh they should go on nice and easy got the holes a bit better lined um cardboard is just more forgiving than the plastic so when we did the test holes up the top uh for the, the stock rivets they're a little bit off just by a couple millimeters, but yeah, we're kind of enlarged the hole and got it to fit anyway, so. Okay, time to bolt them on. There we go, finished product. Good coverage coming down. Now I've also, from my, this here, you can see that tape line. That is a 80 millimeter wide piece of stand-up paddleboard rail tape. So uh, yeah, that's what I do for work sell paddle boards and that will keep the stone chips at bay there because I was getting you see a couple here this little divot bit behind the rear wheel you see another one there I'm not covering that up heaps of chips right there that little pocket both sides caught it so we're covered now we'll have a look at the other side it blends in so well especially with the uh, especially with the black wheels and of course got a clean the tires pretty good fit the little Christmas tree kind of pins are holding all right I'll see if I can get some of the BMW ones and um, probably could have cut that a little bit narrower here taking that tent that would take that tension out but uh, yeah the two screws that held so there's one there one further in it's not going anywhere and hopefully the stones don't go anywhere <laughs> 